Good morning, Biana. You know, we've been talking about the 70 people who were injured here, and that being the biggest number uh, in American history. It's, it's a very dubious statistic to lean on, but as we learned about this tragedy, the first name that came out was a young woman who really captured what this was all about, full of life, so much promise, and a life taken too soon, almost twice. Described as vivacious and full of life by family and friends, Jessica Gowie had dropped everything to move to Denver to pursue her career in journalism. We spoke to her brother, Jordan. What made her different was her passion for her life, um, the obstacles that she constantly overcame. And Jessica had been challenged. The 25-year-old aspiring sportscaster from San Antonio, Texas, was at a Toronto mall earlier this year when another gunman went on a rampage. Her mother told Diane Sawyer about how Jessica felt after the ordeal. She wrote afterwards, it was a final post on her personal blog, I can't get this odd feeling out of my chest, this empty, almost sickening feeling won't go away. Yes, and she was uh, very affected by watching the victims being brought out of that shooting and realizing that um, several of them were very close to her own age and realized that life is very fragile. And she had an epiphany at that moment that it could happen to any of us at any time. And instead of being afraid of that, she embraced life even more fully from that time on and uh, I'm sorry there is no need to be sorry I know that she read I, I was shown how fragile life is we don't know when our time on earth will end when or where we will breathe our last breath beautifully written and we had really thought we had literally dodged a bullet that day and I was so grateful that she was all right and that the chances of her experiencing anything like that ever again were impossible or so I thought and she texted you I believe her last text to you was I'm so excited for your trip here next week. Yes. And I need and my mommy. And I need my mommy. On her way to the movie with her close friend Brent Loack, Jessica tweeted, never thought I'd have to coerce a guy into seeing the dark night rises with me. But minutes into the movie, shots rang out. And soon after, Jessica's mother received a phone call from Brent. And I said, is she okay? And he said, I'm so sorry. And I just scream, please tell me she's alive. And of course he couldn't tell me that. Jessica's life has ended too soon and left her family struggling for answers. My life is forever changed and forever damaged by one person's horrible, violent choice. Remembering a daughter they love so dearly. And we were blessed to have her every second. And that is the painful message that comes out of the loss of somebody like Jessica Gowie. It's a reminder to everybody to love the people in their family, to enjoy their lives. That is one of the few messages that we can pull out of a tragedy like this, Dan and Biana, that helps us move forward together, that recognition that we have to appreciate life because you never know what will happen next.